Thank you for joining me today. And the light just went out. Hey folks, TSG here. Thank you for joining me today. Subscribers, you guys are awesome. Much appreciated. Those of you that are Patreon patrons, awesome, awesome. Thank you. If you're neither, uh, consider subscribing. Pull the trigger right now. Just go down there and click the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell. And if you're so inclined and you want to help us out, become a Patreon patron. I'll leave a link. So earlier today, I uh, did the daunting task of getting out into the uh, 88 degree weather with about 85% humidity and mow the stupid lawn. <laughs> I don't know why I waited until it was, you know, the middle of the day and as hot as it was, except cheeseburger sweat. I don't eat cheeseburgers. There's been a lot happening, a lot going on. It was the only time I had a window of opportunity. I figured I better get this lawn done before it gets too tall and uh, then it gets even harder to mow. Uh, you're gonna wear yourself out. Because uh, stuff around here, you get a little bit of water, a little bit of sunshine, uh, things grow real fast. And it had been about a week since I mowed and it was getting kind of woolly. Are you sure it isn't time for a colorful metaphor? Anyway, got it all mowed, at least in the backyard. I had to stop the front yard. Uh, front yard, half of it got mowed the other day and I'm just gonna finish mowing it tomorrow. Maybe it'll be cooler if I start a little earlier in the morning. But I did notice something. Um, I hit a lot of rocks. <laughs> and I got to thinking, I wonder if the old Ryobi here uh, needs to have a sharpening. And I, I talked about this in a previous video. The blades on this thing, holy smoke. You hit a, a really burly piece of grass, you get a dent. I'll do a separate video sharpening this lawnmower blade that I probably should get the thing sharpened. And I took a very close look at it and sure enough, man, this, this thing's gonna need to be reprofiled. Um, I've hit rocks, I've hit concrete, uh, metal edging, all sorts of stuff. I, I'm assuming it's a very soft metal, which means it'll probably take an edge really, really well. Um, but the edge won't last very long if you hit hard stuff. Now, there's a lot of theories out there and I'd like to hear from you guys. You know, a lot of guys feel that a, an extra sharp blade uh, isn't necessary on a, 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 on a lawnmower. Um, and then others say, make sure it's very, very sharp. So I'd like to hear what your experience is and what you think is, what your opinion is on it. I have my opinion. I, I kind of, I think I would like my edge to be really sharp. That way it cuts the lawn very cleanly and it's le less taxing on, in this case, an electric motor, but even on a gas motor. Le less taxing, it's gonna cut cleanly. And then it won't burn uh, the remaining lawn, you know? The, the blade uh, has fewer rough edges, less to brown and all of that. That's my theory anyway. Now, the, the negative side though, if you get this thing too sharp, then your profile is so narrow that uh, any little thing other than a blade of grass will probably dull it. A really burly piece of grass, you get a dent. And I like my blades sharp. I'm gonna take the work sharp, take this off, get my work sharp, and um, probably have to take a file and reprofile it, uh, and, then, and then put it on the work sharp and get the thing just razor sharp, because I know I can. Well, the work sharp. Uh, give me a second, I'm gonna get a tool, get this thing out, and then I'm gonna take it into the shed, and we'll take it from there. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. Now, before I get started, uh, I just want to point out something. A lot of you, I get a lot of comments about um, this Ryobi lawnmower. Uh, every time I... Uh, get a chance to do a video on it, or they're looking at some older videos. Some people really love them, they've tried them. Some people really hate them because they've tried them. And uh, those, those comments I appreciate. If, you, if you've used it and you love it, let's hear about it. If you, if you used it and you hate it, let's hear about it and why. Um, what I don't appreciate are people that don't know nothing about it and just start spouting off um, what they don't know <laughs> uh, about something they don't know anything about. And, 
Uh, that's just a big waste of time. And I might just uh, do a block party on you. But, you know, keep the comments coming, whether you uh, enjoy it or not. Um, but, I, but make sure that you have one, uh, ordered one, and used one, and let me know, okay? Because it's always good to... And why am I playing with this thing? Well, I, I gotta tell you, either I'm really rough when I mow the lawn... I mean, I wrestle this, this lawn a lot, to be honest with you. But this is the, the little flap that goes um, here to help the um, with the lawn catcher to scoop the lawn in to keep it from falling out you know the bottom part here we're we're actually looking underneath here if that if you kind of see what's going on there and today as I was mowing it I this thing came right off so uh, I was it, it was starting to tear and I was going to use some flex tape to try to put it back on but now I'm probably not going to bother with that I'm just going to go see if Ryobi has a uh, a replacement flap thing. I don't know what that's called. So, uh, that's a bad thing. Now keep in mind, not everything's bad about this mower, yeah, but there are some pluses and minuses to it. Okay, so here's the nut. There's a square washer thing that kind of holds all of this kind of on there. Uh, it's a number 15. That's right, it's metric. I'm gonna put that on there. And I'm not sure if this is uh, a reverse thread or not, but I'm just going to stick a, a screwdriver in there and No, maybe I won't hmm and try to Undo this. Uh, maybe I won't hmm well, Let's uh, let's not get my hand cut Maybe what I need to do is get a I'm gonna get a piece of wood. Okay, two by four That's gonna go there Huh Mallet, rubber mallet. That's gonna go there. Wish me luck, folks. Now, I don't know if this is a reverse thread and I'm just making it tighter. Oh, no, it's coming loose. There you go. Okay. Let's get that out of there. I'm assuming I'm doing the right thing. Take that out. Take that out. Oh, piece of plastic. Tell you what, let's marry this back up on there just in case. I, you know, there's a lot of plastic on this everywhere. This, this, this uh, venting for uh, you know air air circulation, uh, kind of like the fins on your um, disc brakes and all that. Plastic. The bushing in there is plastic. This is all plastic. Okay, fortunately this is not plastic. Got it off, came out pretty easily. There is a, there's an arrow there and an arrow here showing which direction it's supposed to go. And even a, even a moron like me can't screw it up unless I put it in this way, which it ain't gonna go because, well, it won't let me. Let's take it back to the shop because I got the air conditioner on and it's hot in the garage. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's uh. Definitely gonna need some reprofiling. Here's the other side. It's uh, not any better, frankly. Oop, can you focus on that? There you go, see? It's all banged up. So, gonna put it in the vise here. And, I don't know, try to get it um, somewhat reprofiled with a file. Oh, by the way, there's the work sharp. You knew that I had one of these, right? You should have one too. Got to sharpen my knife. Got my trusty work sharp. Let's get down to it, shall we? There you go. Now I got to go cut off the fat for my chicken. Hey, if you want a work sharp, use one of my links down below. Order yourself a work sharp. You can sharpen up all of your knives, including your kitchen knives. Very easy to use, very effective, and uh, gets razor sharp. You might want to buy one. Use my link. It doesn't cost you any more, but it does help me out. Thank you. I'll put a link down below where you can get yourself one. These things are 
um, very valuable in the workshop, let me tell you. Let me see, which way do I really want to do this? Okay. Let me, um, let me get a file. Be right back. Yeah, I'm just going to take a little file. Can you see that okay? Shall we focus on that? Let's do that. Yikes! Yeah, that's what happens. This is probably some sort of non-US metal, non-Japanese metal. A uh, fellow YouTuber, Wrangler Star, likes to refer to it as Chineseium, <laughs> which uh, he's probably right. Ooh, it's pretty soft. So it could be similar to what is it, 4116 Krups? You know, more a surgical steel, not a real tool steel, because that, yeah, that, that, uh, that happened way, that happened way too easy. And this side's a true wreck. Yeah, I'm just trying to get all the high side off of that. Because I might go through quite a bit of beltage. Huh. Yeah, so this uh, blade has only one bevel on it. Um, this side is flat along with the steel, so we're only going to pass it on one side of the work sharp. Um, it's got this little bit of a jog, which is normal. You know, it's... Uh, but I don't know what the what the uh, degree of bevel is here. So we're going to put the most abrasive and start at 25 degrees, slide it into the guide, and let's see what we come up with. Wish me luck. And it looks like it's taking off the top and the bottom. So it might be... Uh, 25 degrees. Hmm. Maybe not. That might actually be a little bit more like 30 degrees. I'm going to make that adjustment. I do that with this back here. Make a little adjustment. I'm going to put it 27 degrees. I'm going to start with that. Yeah, 27 degrees seems about right because it's taking it a little off the top and a little off the bottom and it's leaving this part here kind of untouched this is going to be tough guys it's uh, so ragged I'll do the best I can yeah. well, let's keep going I guess always wear eye protection well, that's kind of it's kind of helping those necks are not going to come out you know what I might end up doing is taking this gauge off. Yeah, I'm going to use a, I don't know, a, a one-eighth uh, Allen wrench. There's a, you can't see it from there. But that goes in there. Loosens that baby up. And then, oh, I'll loosen it a little bit more. There we go. Oh, that comes off. And then I'm going to end up using this side here up against that blade in the vise. Let's give it a whirl. I'm just going to clamp this to the workbench. That should be pretty stable. I'm going to go at it, eyeball it, go for it. Ooh, I got a burr. Ooh, it's getting kind of warm too. Off of there. Let's take it to this side. Ain't gonna lie to you, that blade got a little hot. Not super hot, but it's definitely warm to the touch. Yeah, got a little burr. Let me get a ceramic and clean that up. Now I do have this uh, work sharp portable sharpener with a diamond impregnated surface and then a ceramic that I use uh, in my backpack. I'm going to throw that on here because it's got the ceramic 
rod and I'm just going to run that on there and take that burr off. There you go. That's pretty good. Let's get this side. Ooh, I gotta be careful there. That's kinda nasty. That's maybe where I'll take the diamond impregnated side and kinda flatten that out. Although, I don't wanna wear that out. Could I have done this whole thing with the diamond impregnated side? Probably. Hmm. Yeah, probably could have. But. We'll take the, uh, ceramic, knock that burr off. Wouldn't you say WorkSharp is kind of handy? I think so. I use it for a lot of things around here. All right, let's see if I can, uh, see if I can cut paper. I wonder if I can. I'm going to go to the old Cabela's catalog, not that we have any affiliation or we don't have any of that with them, but, uh, See if I can cut this thing. No guarantees. Well, a little bit. Yeah, it's got an edge. This side is it's snagging. It, it's got that really bad. Yeah, it's kind of cutting. It's tearing more than it's cutting. There you go. This side's actually a little better. And that's because it doesn't have that. Yeah, there you go. That cut through okay. Yeah, it's because it doesn't have that jagged thing going on like this side does. Well, it's going to be a heck of a lot sharper. Let's take it back out to the garage, stick it on the lawnmower. It only goes on one way, folks. <laughs> Even a ding dong like me could figure this out. Everything in reverse order. The plastic thing on. There you go. I think that's the way it went. I guess I have a choice, don't I? I could go this way. No, I cannot. Oh, look at that. And then this goes on this way. No, it goes on this way. No. Which way does this go on? There you go. Goes on that way. Screw that on. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Wouldn't you say? I almost feel like I'm cross-threading though. Maybe not. I should, if I, if, if I was smart, I would probably use blue Loctite on this. Um, but I'm not that smart. Let's get my log. Ah, better. Good choice. Okay, it's in there. Not going anywhere. Now as far as this goes, I'm going to, this thing here, this flap, I'm gonna try, um, I'm gonna get a hold of Ryobi, see if there's a replacement flap thing. Because uh, it does, it, it does help. Uh, the way it's designed is when it when the the lawn comes out, it hits here and then it deflects and it goes up into this area and then up into the bag, right? Yeah, you know. So I'm gonna give that a try and see what happens and maybe I'll take you along on that ride. Let me know what you think, okay, about the Ryobi thing and uh, work sharp. Uh, I'll let you know. I'm gonna mow the lawn uh, tomorrow early morning. I'll do the the rest of the lawn. And I'll report back to you on how well that thing sharpened. I think it did pretty good. All right, let's go back in and uh, talk a little bit about that work sharp, and then we're out of here. All right, now that that's done, we'll put this back. That's good. Yeah, the slits right on there. Take your 1 8 inch wrench. Snug that. Oh, that's not all the way down. There you go. All the way down. Boy, my elbow looked pretty good there, didn't it? Anyway, it's all the way down. We'll set it back to 25 because that's where I like to keep it. Those two things certainly came in handy, wouldn't you say? I mean, uh, jeepers. 
I'll put a link down below where you can get yourself one. Uh, we've got an Amazon affiliation, and uh, we, uh, we're not sponsored by WorkSharp, but uh, they have been so kind to us by sending us some resources from time to time. Um, I am more than happy to show off their tool, not because they send me a, a belt or a, a little grinder thing every once in a while, but because I use it here in the shop all the time, just like you saw. If you don't have a work sharp, get yourself one. You'll not be sorry. All right, that's all I got for you. God bless you. God bless America. Hey, America, bless God. Oh, wait a minute. Something's not right here. There you go. This is going to be a little bit tougher than I thought. <laughs>